Greetings, fellow interlopers. I'm Taylor. Welcome to Whiskey Barrel Gaming. Today we're talking trading. Now, when we're talking trading, I'm talking about making money, buying and selling at the trade terminal. First off, this isn't like hands down, end all be all, absolute best way to make money in No Man's Sky. This is for those who are looking to change things up a bit. You still make a lot of money, but it's not your traditional grind. But I will say one thing. During my research, I discovered inconclusively that space station employees are stoners. <laughs> but more about that in a second. This video is going to be geared more towards the mid game because there are some things that you most likely won't have in the early game, such as a little bit of money to finance your first purchase so you can actually buy enough goods to sell. Secondly, is you're going to need an economy scanner which is available on the Anomaly from Hyperion, the ship dealer. And last, which is probably the most challenging for newer players or those on a newer save, is having enough inventory space. But if you utilize everything in your ship as well as your exosuit, you'll be fine. And if you have a freighter, well, all the better. So we're going to talk about the traditional non-outlaw system trading first. And after that, we'll talk about how you trade using outlaw systems and then selling those goods. When you look at a trade terminal, the first few goods with the light gray background, those are the trade goods. And you may have wondered why there's two in some and as many as five in others. Well, that's all tied to the economy of the system. One star systems have two different trade goods. A two star will have four different trade goods. And a three star is going to have five different trade goods. These won't serve anything as far as like crafting or anything functional. They're merely just trade goods. They're there to buy and sell for a profit. So let me tackle a few early questions you're probably gonna have. Like which to buy if you don't have the room to buy them all. And probably the biggest one is just where to sell them. How do you know which system to sell to? And lastly, is this dress like, is it really black and blue or is it white and gold? So once you have your economy scanner installed, when you're in space, pull up the galaxy map and you're going to want to expand the system information. You'll see various economy types. There's seven in total, actually, with each having their own icon. There's technology, advanced materials, energy, scientific, industrial, mining, and trade commodities. One very important thing is to make sure and go to your filter that's at the top right and make sure the filter is on economy. Now you'll see each system is color coded according to their economy. Newer players, myself included back in the day, often made the mistake of thinking that this economy filter is somehow tied to one, two or three star economies. Well, that has nothing to do with the, the star rating. The economy filter just gives each system a different color based on what types of trade goods they're selling. But regardless of how many stars the system has, you can check how many stars the economy is just by looking to the left of the economy icon. I will say one of the most confusing things about the economies and the seven umbrella types are the various industry names you'll come to see under each umbrella. For instance, if you look at these two systems, you can see that they both share the same icon of DNA, which is the advanced materials icon. Yet one is material fusion and one's metal processing. Well, the specific names aren't really important. All you need to focus on is the icon. So to make things a little easier, try to get familiar with which icon represents which industry. But even if you don't want to mess with that, just focus on the colors. That's why it's important to use the economy filter on the galaxy map. But sometimes even this can be a little challenging because the red and yellow or orange, some of these can get kind of confusing, especially the blue, the cyan and the purple. So it's best just to verify the color and the icon to make sure that you're going to head to the right system. So with all that out of the way, let's go ahead and make our first purchase. The galaxy map really tells us all we need to know. You'll see when you look at the information on each system, there's a buy percentage and then there's also a sell percentage. Clearly when we're looking to buy we only care about the buy percentage and vice versa. So when we're looking to buy we want the highest negative number. Does that make sense? Possible. 
or you could look at it like a discount. You'd rather buy something at minus 30% than minus 10%, right? And that's about what the ranges are, minus 10% to minus 30%. Now, as I mentioned earlier, the economy does impact how many goods you'll have available to you at the trade terminal. If money and inventory space is plentiful for you, go ahead and look for a three star because they're gonna have five different goods to buy. Otherwise, it doesn't really matter. All things being equal, just look for the biggest discount you can buy at. For the purposes of this video, we're gonna select this two star mining system with a very nice minus 29.9% discount. So we approach our terminal, we take a look, and as anticipated, there are four different ones to choose from. So one thing that becomes pretty clear is that the cheapest item actually has the greatest discount. So this dirt, it goes for 713 a unit, is discounted at a 32%, while the zirconium is very expensive. In fact, if you were to buy that out, it's 1.6 million, but you're only getting a 10.8% discount. So depending on the amount of money you have and your inventory space, just buy things in the order of discount. So buy out all the things with the biggest discount first. Pretty easy, right? Now what I haven't mentioned are these little places called trading posts. We tend to think this is where you go to do some ship hunting, but there's a reason they're called trading posts and you're gonna see why. So here we are at a trading post and take a look at these discounts. Let's do a little compare and contrast with what we were gonna buy at the space station. Hmm, I wonder which discount I would prefer. Yeah, I mean, we're talking like twice the discount at a trading post. That's insane, because for the longest time, I always just did my trading at space stations. I don't even want to know how much money I've left on the table over these years. Granted, they don't have all the products that the space station has, but what's great is if you buy out all the product at a trading post, it won't affect the supply of the space station. So if you have space and money left over, you can then head to the space station and buy whatever you want there. So I guess I'll state the obvious. Use trading posts and not space stations if money and space is an issue. The discounts are ridiculous. So with the buying out of the way, the next question is where to sell. Well, every system has a trading partner depending on what the economy is. If you buy in green, you should sell in purple. If you buy in orange, you should sell in yellow. If you buy in yellow, sell in cyan. If you buy in a blue system, sell in green. Buying in a red system, you should go to an orange system. If you buy in purple, sell in a blue system. And lastly, if you're in a cyan technology system, you should sell that in a red energy system. Again, these are all colors with regards to the economy filter. If you go to a green system and you don't have your economy filter on, you're gonna be going to the wrong system most likely. So when you're ready to sell in the proper system, here's a side-by-side -side of selling at a space station versus selling all your goods at a trading post. Ridiculous. So yeah, regardless of buying or selling, you definitely wanna do all your transactions at a trading post. Next up, we're talking about outlaw systems, and this is super simple because they're all black market goods, meaning it really doesn't matter where you sell as long as it's to a system that's not either abandoned or an outlaw system. I'm not a data miner, but all of the times where I've paid attention to the sell percentage with regards to black market goods, it's really not made a difference. So I think the percentages you see on the galaxy map are for the normal trading systems and not black market goods. But overall, I gotta say the percentage returns are very disappointing. Yeah, it's still better to sell at a trading post rather than a space station, but returns are gonna be in the single digits. Here's where it gets interesting because I know I mentioned that space station employees are stoners. Well, when you sell your black market goods, everything that I've sold to a trading post sells at a better percentage than the space station, except one item, nip nip. You get more for your nip-nip at the space station than you do at the trading post. It kind of makes sense because sitting at a booth in a space station all day would be a severe drag. So that is that, you guys. Hopefully you can take this newfound knowledge and trade like a boss and make a bunch of money. So thanks for sticking around. This is Taylor with Whiskey Barrel Gaming. Have an S-class day, guys.